Well, this should make for an exciting teardown. Another one of those things that's just not worth selling because the uh, risk is greater than the reward. This is a Cisco Air-AP3802i-B-K9. And it is a 802.11 AC dual band access point. Uh, tried plugging in the PoE, but apparently well, I don't have the right PoE for it. And I don't have the uh, 40 volt power supply it requires either. So it's gonna get recycled. I think it's worth like 40 bucks if it works. But I don't have the means to test it and I don't even know how to manage one of these things. So I don't know if this is one of the ones that requires a controller or not. I'm too lazy to learn. So I'm gonna make a video tearing it down instead of selling it because it's just the risk, like I said, isn't greater than the reward. I believe the little black dots on the inside are also screws. So I may have to pull the little rubber feet out um, to access the Torx 15 screw heads. And I'm missing a lot of tools right now. So I'm using a screwdriver I normally wouldn't use, but I didn't feel like taking the time to find my drill. I put everything back in the toolbox where it belongs, but I'm bad about that. Alright. A little smack to release the screws. Let's see. Oh, wow, hell, I came apart here. <laughs> it just completely fell apart. Plastic front trim piece. Got this nice, massive cast aluminum chunk for heat sinking. And here's the board. One of the cans came off. Got a bunch of wireless antennas. Who knows where they belong? <laughs> no fixing this at this point. Um, unfortunately, a lot of these cans are soldered on. The only one that uh, wasn't fell off, so uh, not very much to see here. Yeah, all right. Um, this breakout card was plugged into the little mini PCI slot somehow. I think at least. Oh, it was the other side. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong way. We'll look at this first. Under these thermal pads should be some stuff. Alright, will it focus? No, we need 3x zoom. Get the light just right. Maybe I can turn on the flashlight. I think the oily residue from those thermal pads is making it impossible to see. See the M logo, the branding, but uh, otherwise, yeah, not much to see there. I'm guessing these are like the uh, wireless radios and the little amplifiers or whatever to produce the signal. So there really isn't anything on this main PCB for wireless antennas. It does have what looks like a uh, PCI Express slot. Granted, it's more than likely not PCI Express. But everything's kind of hidden under cans. Got a bunch of power regulation here. Probably more power regulation here. Shielded transformer. See the windings almost under the bottom. Uh, got some flash memory there. What's the brand? It's so small. Spansion. Um, this casting looks really nice. 
Unfortunately, this will not come apart any further, it looks like, because it looks like it's riveted on. This will just go as aluminum breakage. Won't uh, make nice clean scrap like the other portion will. But a light pipe down the middle for the uh, indicator light on top. This is uh, cast aluminum around here that's been painted. And yeah, just wireless antennas going everywhere. I'm not very up to speed on wireless, so I don't know if this supports fancier stuff like beam forming and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I think uh, that's really all there is to see. Hopefully that was interesting, and thanks for watching.